So I just blew the hole out with my stainless steel straw. Now I'm going to put in a 22 round. So here are my 22 rounds. I'll go ahead and drop one in the hole here. Okay, it's all the way down. Now I will uh, get video of me hitting it with my striker. It's down probably an inch. Let's see if it splits this piece of concrete. Yep. Already, well, I, I got one explosion. I think you needed to keep driving through it. Well, let's put more bullets in. <laughs> Wait, okay. Visor down. Yeah, Total safety. Ready? Yep. This is my micro shaver, a ball hitch for a trailer, big long threaded piece here, probably three quarters or better, just a iron weight for a dumbbell or barbell, the nut that fits on this, and I drilled this and I tapped it for my actual plunger that actually hits, makes contact with the Rimfire 22, so redesign this piece. Make a couple different lengths, probably temper the steel with my acetylene torch so it doesn't bend so easy. And this was like probably more than halfway out of the hole, so that's why if I don't drill a deep hole, I only want a short plunger instead of a long plunger. Less chance for it to bend over. So that's the design modification will be this piece. It'll be tempered and I'll have several different sizes. Hopefully. I don't get as many bent pieces, but I'm happy that my threads preserved well because I brazed this nut on so the uh, the hammer force would not transfer back into the threads and destroy the threads. So it actually worked quite well in that regard. So that's one design feature I was successful at. So make another couple of attempts here to get this to work better.